Hi students, welcome back to our channel. I am a students. Today we are going to learn how to multiply fractions. It's very easy. There are three steps involved. So before going to multiplication, you know very well how to add and subtract the fractions. So you know about like denominators and unlike denominators. So you will see whether the denominators are same or different only for adding and subtracting wherein in case of multiplication no need to check the denominator so there is no condition that they should be same or equal it can be different denominators as well but still we can able to multiply the fractions okay let's look at an example 2 over 6 times 9 over 16. Step 1. Multiply the top numbers which is numerators. The other name. So write 2 times 9 on top. 2 nines are 18. Step 2. Multiply the bottom numbers. Bottom numbers are also called denominators. Multiply the denominator. 6 times 16 is 96. Now don't leave this as the final answer. Step 3 is to simplify the fraction. So you have to simplify as much as possible. For that reason, you need to figure out the greatest common factor. If you are not able to find out the greatest common factor at a time or in a step, no problem. Divide one by one. Divide by the number, some smaller number. Here in this case, dividing by 3 first. Because both are divisible by 3, 3 is the common factor. 18 divided by 3 is 6. And 96 divided by 3 is 32. 6 by 32. That is not final answer again. It is simplifiable because both are divisible by 2 again. So dividing by 2 will give you the final answer which is 3 by 16. Because 3 by 16 there is no common factor between 3 by 16. We cannot simplify that. That is why this is the final answer. So these are the three steps. Let's look at some more examples. We are going to practice some questions. Multiply 2 by 3 times 4 by 5. What is the step? Step 1. Multiply the numerators. Write them together. Multiply the denominators. Isn't it? Now 2 4s are 8. 3 fives are 15. 8 by 15. Can you see any common factor between 8 and 15? No, there is no common factor other than 1. That means it's already in the simplest form. This is the final answer. But let's look at one more example. 2 fifth times 3 fourth. Usual steps. Multiply the top numbers. Multiply the bottom numbers. 2 3's are 6, 5 4's are 20. But is this the final answer students? No, because we do have common factor between 6 and 20. In other words, both of them divisible by 2. Isn't it? Now, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 20 divided by 2? 10. 3 by 10. Now, is it possible to simplify again or this is the final simplest answer? This is the final simplest answer or in lowest terms because there is no common factor between 3 and 10. So, this is an example wherein uh, this is uh, no, not possible to simplify. This is another example where you have to simplify. Now, these are multiplying fractions. But, I will show how to multiply whole numbers and fractions. This is again easy. What we have to do? We have to make the whole numbers as fraction by writing the denominator 1. Because, 3 by 1 is same as 3. 6 by 1 is same as 6. Isn't it? 
So whenever you get such questions, one whole number, another, another fraction, don't panic, it's easy. Write one in the bottom of the whole number in the denominator and multiply as usual. So three twos, one fifteens. Three twos are six, one fifteens are fifteen. Now again this is a simplifiable. Both are divisible by three. Three which is equal to two by five. That's it. Isn't it? This is the final answer. Same manner. Next question. I have already converted 6 to a fraction. 6 by 1. So you can also do the same. Whenever it is a whole number. If it is multiplication. Or even for addition, subtraction. Whatever may be the operation. You change the whole number to fraction. By writing 1 in the denominator. Now. Continue doing the steps. 3, 6 or 18, 1, 5 or 5. Isn't it? But this is called improper fraction. I hope you know about the types of uh, fraction. Proper, improper, mixed number. It is called improper when the denominator is smaller than the numerator. Or if numerator is greater, then we call improper. So in such cases... If your answer is improper, don't stop there. Try to convert that to mixed number. You know how to do that, isn't it? It's based on division. Long division. 3 fives of 15. 3 is the remainder. So, quotient, remainder. Quotient should be written here as a whole number. A remainder goes on top and same denominator in the bottom. This is how we will convert improper fraction to mixed number using long division. No worries. Don't worry. I am going to show you. Uh, do one more video on converting improper to mixed number and mixed number to improper. That will be a separate video so that you will learn about it. Now, for this question, 18 by 5 or 3 3 fifths is the final answer. So, you understand how to multiply two fractions. Also, how to multiply whole numbers and fraction. Okay, students. Hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and share. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel. I'm a student. See you next time. Bye.